Greetings class, welcome to Dual Academy. Professor Rivas here, and this will be the first lesson of your first class in your obelisk blue term, dual puzzles, puzzles one and two. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be up to date with the latest Dual Academy lessons and assessments. So without further ado, get your deck, get your game on, and let's get started. With countless possibilities of what one can do in a duel, a duelist must be able to narrow those possibilities down to create the best strategies to either win the duel or set up the win. In this course, you will learn to analyze the hand in all aspects of the field, including monster zones, spell and trap zones, and graveyards to configure a sound strategy to win the duel in one turn. Here is your first duel puzzle. In this puzzle, both you and your opponent have 2600 life points. You have nothing on your side of the field, or your opponent has Marshmallow on their side of the field in face of defense position. You have Piranha Army, Autonomous Action Unit, and Shield Crush in your hand. Finally, your opponent has all 5 pieces of Exodia in their graveyard. Now that we have a brief summary of what the current game state is, let's analyze each of these cards to configure a sound strategy to win this turn. First up, let's analyze the field. Since we have nothing on our side of the field, let's just dive into our opponent's side. They have Marshmallow, a level 3 light fairy monster with 300 attack and 500 defense in defense position. Its effect reads, cannot be destroyed by battle. After damage calculation, if this card was attacked and was face down at the start of the damage step, the attacking player takes 1000 damage. Seems like we don't have to worry about the second effect since it's already face up but we do have to worry about the first effect, it cannot be destroyed by battle. This means that we can't just swing over it with a monster by attacking it. It has to be dealt with by either a card effect or tributing it off. Next, let's analyze our hand. First, we have Piranha Army, a level two water fish monster with 800 attack and 200 defense. Its effect reads, the battle damage this card inflicts by attacking your opponent's life points directly is doubled, meaning if this card has a chance to attack directly, it deals 1600 points of damage. Next we have Autonomous Action Unit, an equip spell that reads, pay 1500 life points, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon that target to your side of the field in face up attack position, and equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Meaning, if we have enough life points to pay the cost, which we do, we'll be able to take control of one of their monsters in their graveyard. We'll analyze the graveyard in a moment. Finally, we have Shield Crush, a normal spell that reads, target one defense position monster on the field, destroy that target. Meaning we'll be able to pop a defense position monster on either side of the field. Sounds promising. Let's now analyze the graveyard. Since our graveyard is empty, let's look at our opponents. It seems they have all five pieces of Exodia in their graveyard. The head is a level three dark spellcaster with 1000 attack and 1000 defense, while the other four pieces are level one dark spellcasters with 200 attack and 300 defense. If they were in our opponent's hand, we'd automatically lose. But since they're in the graveyard, we still have a chance. Now that we have an understanding of all the cards in the puzzle, we can come up with a strategy to win the duel. Take a moment to pause the video here and see if you can win the duel by yourself this turn. Let's begin. Now, even though you can win the duel in a different number of sequences, I'm going to explain how I would do it and my thought process behind it. First thing I would do is neutralize the threat on their side of the field. At this moment, it's Marshmallow. We already discussed how it can be destroyed by battle, but it can be dealt with by using card effects. By analyzing our hand, what card can we use to deal with Marshmallow? If you said Shield Crush, then you're correct. Shield Crush's effect would allow us to destroy Marshmallow since it's in defense position, so let's go ahead and activate it.
Now that our opponent's field is clear, let's think about how we can swing for game and the monsters we'll use to do it. We do have Piranha Army, which can deal 1600 points of damage since it will be attacking directly. Now that is a big chunk, but it doesn't get the job done. Let's see what target we can pick in our opponent's graveyard to take control of using Autonomous Action Unit before committing our one normal summon. Remember, our opponent has all 5 pieces of Exodia, but which piece should we take? If you use that Exodia the Forbidden one, then you're correct. Since we could deal 1600 points of damage with Piranha Army, that'll leave our opponent with 1000 life points. Exodia the Forbidden One has exactly 1,000 attack points, making it exactly lethal. Let's go ahead and activate Autonomous Action Unit to take control of Exodia the Forbidden One. Then, let's summon our Piranha Army and go into battle phase and attack for game. Here is your second dual puzzle. In this puzzle, you have 650 life points while your opponent has 1000 life points. You have one set Call of the Haunted on your side of the field while your opponent has Black Luster Soldier in face up attack position and an active school invitation continuous trap card. You have Megamorph and Gear Freed the Iron Knight in your hand. Finally, you have Cannon Soldier in your graveyard while your opponent has nothing in their graveyard. Once again, since we have a brief summary of what the current game state is, let's analyze each of these cards to configure a sound strategy to win this turn. Let's analyze the field. On our side, we have a set Call of the Haunted, a continuous trap card that reads, activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in attack position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. This means that we're able to revive one of our monsters in the graveyard and place it on our field in attack position. On our opponent's field, they have Black Luster Soldier, a level 8 Earth Warrior Ritual Monster with 3000 attack and 2500 defense, as well as a face up Skull Invitation, a continuous trap card that reads, each time a card or cards is sent to the graveyard, inflict 300 damage to its owner for each card sent. Since we only have 650 life points left, only two of our cards can be sent to the graveyard, which is not a lot of wiggle room. Next, let's analyze our hand. First we have Megamorph, an equip spell that reads, while your life points is lower than your opponent's, the equipped monster's attack becomes double its original attack. While your life points is higher, the equipped monster's attack becomes half its original attack. Since our life points are lower than our opponents, the attack of the monster we choose to equip this with will be doubled. Next, we have Gear Freed the Iron Knight, a level 4 Earth Warrior monster with 1800 attack and 1600 defense. Its effect reads, if either player equips an equip card to this card, destroy that equip card. As you can see, this card poses a problem with Megamorph. Finally, Let's analyze the graveyard. In our graveyard, we have Cannon Soldier, a level 4 dark machine monster with 1400 attack and 1300 defense. Its effect reads, you can tribute one monster, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Let's see how we can use this effect to our advantage. Now that we have an understanding of all the cards in the puzzle, we can come up with a strategy to win the duel. Take a moment to pause the video here and see if you can win the duel by yourself this turn. Let's begin. Your opponent has two threats on their field, the Black Luster Soldier and the Skull Invitation. Unfortunately, we don't have any spell or trap removal to neutralize the Skull Invitation threat. Is there a way to neutralize the Black Luster Soldier threat? If you answered no, then you'd be correct. We can't bring out Gearfreed and equip it with Megamorph because Gearfreed's effect would destroy the Megamorph. That would only trigger Skull Invitation and we'd lose 300 points. So that line of play isn't the wisest. We also can't bring out Cannon Soldier with Call of the Haunted and equip it with Megamorph to deal with Black Luster Soldier 
since doubling its attack points would only bring it up to 2800, which isn't enough to take down the 3k Blackluster Soldier. Since we can't neutralize our opponent's threats, we have to go around them. This will be done with Cannon Soldier's effect. First, we will activate Call of the Haunted to bring back Cannon Soldier. Next, we will normal summon Gearfrid the Iron Knight. With Cannon Soldier's effect, we will tribute Gearfrid to inflict 500 points of damage to our opponent. We will take 300 points of damage due to Skull Invitation. This leaves your opponent with 500 life points and us with 350 life points. You may be thinking, we don't have any other monsters to tribute for Cannon Soldier's effects. The thing is, Cannon Soldier can tribute itself to inflict another 500 points of damage. Sure, we'll take the 300 from Skull Invitation or our opponent will lose their last 500 life points, winning us the duel. Thank you so much for attending this class. There will be a quiz in this lesson, so don't forget to take it. I hope you have a great d -d 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 day, and class dismissed.